many years the Baltic states and Lithuania have called for a tougher line on Russia. And yet Western European countries have gone ahead developing pipelines, thinking that economic ties will resolve the situation. Do you think they've been naive? I think throughout the 30 years, you know, we've, we've many in the West, and I would say we, even though Lithuania could have a possibility to say we, said, we told you so, but I would say we in, in the West believe that through trade we can, uh, we can bring um, Russia and retain Russia and other countries uh, to, what we, uh, to what we see as, a, as a basic principles for maintaining the, uh, the security order or the global order, to add to that. But I think that uh, especially last events showed that those 30 years were used not in our advantage. Uh, Russia built uh, dependency on its, uh, on its oil, on its gas for us, and limiting, currently limiting our political maneuvering space. So I think that it's incredibly good time to wake up and see what, uh, what, was, what happened throughout those 30 years and do not repeat the same uh, mistakes uh, again. And between cyber attacks and disinformation, when do you think this conflict actually began? Uh, when I think that the, the conflict between, I mean, Russian, uh, Russian, when the Russian buildup began, it is, it's, it's, it's not a conflict, it's actually a blatant attack. Uh, a conflict requires two sides, and it's very clear that one side is, is a victim in, in, this, in this point. You know, when you're mugged in the street, there is no conflict between you. Basically, you were, you know, you were mugged, <laughs> so now this is happening to, to Ukraine. <laughs> German uh, Chancellor said here in Brussels last Friday, and also during the weekend in Munich uh, Security Conference, that the enlargement of new enlargement of NATO is not uh, is not now, it's not in the next month, in, and it's not uh, foreseen in the next years. Do you think there is uh, this idea could be a message to Mr. Uh, Putin, and then a step forward? for a diplomatic solution, or uh, you see it as, say, uh, an unjustifiable uh, concession to Mr. Putin. And what is the diplomatic, in this case, what is the diplomatic solution in your view? Well, the diplomatic solution is the only one, that you do not rewrite the European security rules by power. If you are given this opportunity to rewrite them, then the question is, is very clear. So who's next then? Where the next buildup will, will happen? Because then you can expect that uh, somebody would put up the troops on, on, on Lithuanian border and ask concessions again. So if you go that path, it's a very, very dangerous path. Therefore, the diplomatic path is the only one. You know, Russia needs to take its troops and pull them out and stop the pressure on, on Ukraine. This is the only way to start any sorts of, of, uh, of talks that would be, uh, that would be a, bring a diplomatic uh, uh, result. Now about a non-NATO expansion, uh, I, you know, we've had this conversation a number of times and I think that the, the best reaction that we got was from Sweden and Finland, uh, where people and governments were very clear about this, that you know, <laughs> the doors need to be remain open and uh, the decision is, has to come from, from both sides, meaning that we have to uh, the people need to have this de democratic choice to choose their security architecture the, wish, the way they wish. Question on you. Yeah, Minister, when you went into the Council this morning, you suggested there should be a ban on all energy extracted material. Could you please explain what exactly uh, you have in mind? And in addition to that, the message from leaders last week was that the sanctions package is ready, finalized. Um, are you suggesting that it should be reopened to include further elements like this? Well, look, I'm just saying about uh, Lithuanian government's position, which is very clear, that we do not have to uh, have red lines when it comes to sanctions, because the level of escalation is not yet known. Therefore, there, it is two-sided. On one side, and I've, I mentioned that in the council today. Just if we wait for a very specific trigger, so Russia will do everything not to provide the trigger while doing everything else that it can in its, in its in instrumentarium. So we need to have a very broad set of instruments the way we can, 
with the way we, we will send the, the, the message to, to Moscow what is not acceptable and which was not will not be allowed to, to do. That means that my point is that nothing should be off the table. Nothing should be off the table, and this is the, 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 the basic principle. But as you very well know, there has to be a consensus on, uh, on, uh, on sanctions in the Council. Therefore, I'm just voicing my position. But, but do you hear that the current package is not strong? Well, it's not being declared yet, is it? No, I mean, but internally, yes. It uh, I mean, look, I mean, disagree. so far, what we maintained is unity within the European Union. And it's incredibly important. And I think that there is a lot of understanding that uh, we have to adapt to the situation on the ground. And this is also what, what Lithuania is advocating. Aš lietuškai atsakysiu. Situacija Baltarusijoje dabartinė ypatingai, kai buvo paskalta, kad kariai lieka Baltarusijos teritorijoje, dramatiškai keičia mūsų saugumo padėti. Kai vaizdu, kad jeigu būtų sumanyta, kada nors kokias nors provokacijas organizuoti NATO sienos, kai vaizdu, kad atsako laikas ir labai stipriai sumažėjęs. Ir dėl to mes turime tą labai aiškiai matyti ir aš kviečiau kolegas lygiai taip pat tą vertinti ir sankcijų kontekste. Užsiminėjau apie galimus spragų užpildymus iš anksesnių paketų, iš ketvirtojo ir penktojo, kalbėjau ir apie galimos kalio sankcijas, kurios taip pat sūstų labai aišku signalą šiandien Putin, kad mes matome tą situaciją ir reaguojame į ją adekvačiai. Antrasis dalykas, kalbėjau taip pat ir apie Rusijos sankcijas, sankcijas Rusijai, kad mes turėtume prisitaikyti prie SMO's ir kintančios situacijos. Nelaukti, kad parazės visa invazija ir tik tuomet konkrečiai jau paskalbė sankcijas, bet mes šiandien turime aiškiai matyti, kad žala Ukrainai, ekonominė, kibernetinė erdvė, energijai karinė erdvė jau yra pritaikyta. Dėl to atsakas, jau galim pradėti kalbėti ir apie atsaką Rusijai. O ar yra daugiau palaikančių tą jau dabar taikymą sankcijų? Aš kol kas kalbūtų apie savo poziciją, Ponas Borelis, kiek vėliau spalos konferencijoje pasakys bendrą Europos poziciją.